In this setup, I have two HMI Panavil Plus 600 communicating to the same controller Micrologix 1200 over DH485. For the hardware, we have two HMI Panavil Plus 600. The model number is 2711P-T6C20D Two advanced interface converters The model number is 1761-NET-AIC And a Micrologix 1200PUC The model number is 1762-L40BXB For the cables, we first have this one to connect the front port of the PUC to the first advanced interface converter. It is in Allen Bradley 27-11 dash c b l dash h m o five and then two r s two thirty two straight through cables one for each h m i to connect to the advanced interface converter For the connection and the communication between the two NetAAC converters, I have only two wires. It goes from A here to A there and be here, go to be there. A and B. A and B. We will use the two Ethernet CAT5 cables, blue and white, to download the HMI applications from the computer to the two HMIs. The IP address for this one is 192.168.0.110 and the other HMI IP address is 192.168.0.100 In Factory Talk View Studio, we will have to create two separate MBR files. Each will have a unique node number to set to the HMI. Under Factory Talk Links, Go to communication setup. And then go to runtime target. Right click on factory talk links. Add driver. Select. Serial DH485. Okay. Station number 0 is the node number for the first HMI. Board 19200. 
ok this is the PUC program if we go to channel configuration channel 0 we can see it has the same driver DH485 for 19,200 okay now back to factory talk view studio in communication setup under runtime target right click on the driver dh485 add device expand slc dh485 devices scroll all the way down to select micro logics 1200 okay address one is for the node number of the PUC. OK. Apply. Yes. OK. Now let's create an HMI application for the first HMI. Application. Create runtime application dh485 cc2 runtime 5.0 save yes Now let's go back to communication setup. Runtime target. We have node number zero is for the first HMI, node one for the PUC. So for the second HMI, we will need to change the node number here to 2 for the second HMI. Apply. OK. OK. Application. Create runtime application. DH485 CC3 Runtime 5.0 Save Yes Now let's download the MER files to the HMIs. CC2. One hundred download. Yes.
okay now let's download the dh485 cc3 to the other hmi ip address and with 110 download yes Both HMIs are communicating to the same controller. That should be it. Thank you for watching.